Emma, tell me what brings you here today. Sheer exhaustion. I just, I feel so tired all the time. And I, I feel like I'm crying for no reason at all. I'm sorry to hear that. Why do you think you're feeling this way? Well, I'm running myself ragged, taking care of my kids. Right. My husband isn't around to help. I just feel like I can't do it by myself anymore. And how often are you feeling this sad and tired? All the time. I mean, I want to be a good wife and a good mother, but I just, there must be some better way to do that. Did you feel this way before the kids were born? Sometimes, but not so often and not so severe. My husband, Max, he's not around very much. He's out looking for work. And when he is around, well, he drinks, but he's always saying how I'm keeping the house really messy and how I'm a mess and I'm a sorry excuse for a mother and a sorry excuse for a wife. I mean, it makes me feel like not even getting up out of bed. Do you have anyone else? Um, like a family member who could help you with your kids? Or perhaps hire someone? We moved away from my family so that Max could have his job. And of course, a few months later, he was fired. So we don't really have the money to hire anyone. I'm concerned about your low mood and lack of energy. I mean, taking care of kids, it's, it's a hard thing. And especially so if you're not even feeling well. Do you have a family doctor? Mm -hmm. Because I think you may be feeling depressed. Medication may help you feel more like yourself. Okay. I'll talk to my doctor and I'll see what she has. What are you thinking? What's on your mind? Mm. You'll never guess who I saw at the liquor mark today. Mm. Richard Rico? <laughs> no, good guess. Shape, I shouldn't feel good. I'm sorry, I said the wrong thing. I'm I'm nervous, okay? What do you mean you're nervous? I feel funny because you feel funny. <laughs> you're nervous because I feel funny. What does that mean? I I feel like um, you're upset and I've upset you and I'm sorry. My fear was that it was going to be maudlin, and in the wrong hands I believe it would have been. But what I really felt and appreciated was the invisible hand of the editor, the clarity, the lack of redundancy, the sharpness of prose.